All right, sorry about earlier. I obviously ran out of video time. But I had to delete a bunch of stuff because I definitely wasn't going to miss out on my baby eating his first rat. I'm not sure how he's doing with it. He doesn't look like he's having much of a problem at all. But um, I'm just going to stay up here because uh, I'm nervous. Just in case. I know everybody says that they can't choke and stuff, but this is my baby. I'm nervous. I got my little cousins over here. They're trying to take pictures and stuff. Say hi, Zach. Hi. My little cousin Zoe. Hi. <laughs> oh, that was a good picture, Mandy. Okay. Did I don't think he's going to be skittish right now. He has quite a bit of the mouse in him right now. He's probably smelling that blood. His nose is right on top of it. I don't think there's any way. If I move and make him feel uncomfortable, he's going to spit it out. He's been pretty hungry, I think. But, uh, I've never seen his head so big. He's trying to get past the shoulders right now. So, hold on for a second. I'm going to get adjusted so that he's Oh, more. look on that side. He's bloody. Oh, yes, he just got that foot in his mouth on the other side. All right, they said he's got the shoulders back now. I realize this probably isn't that exciting for y'all, and everybody's going to message and be like, oh, he's totally big enough to eat a rat. You can go up another size, but, you know, this is my first snake, my first baby, and I stick with what I'm comfortable with, and right now this is it. And it lives in my room! And, uh... Yes, you're a total retard. I think that, um... Yeah, this is definitely enough. His mouth is pretty stretched. I think small rats is all I'm going to do for him for another few months. But um, I did want to ask y'all to please let me know uh, how much longer you think it'll be until he needs to go up another size. And... Uh,